What exactly is this? And I understand it has an interesting nickname. Well, this is a communications carrier assembly that no one calls a communications carrier assembly. It is a Snoopy cap. A Snoopy it's cap. It's made because it looks sort of like the Beagle Snoopy. Um, we think it goes, and obviously it goes back either of the astronauts or the en engineers and technicians who are working with them. And this was a solution to the problem of having a communications carrier built into the helmets. Now, that was fine for Mercury and Gemini. The astronauts all didn't really need a wide field of vision, but on Apollo, they had to be able to look up and down, had to be able to see their feet, they had to look left and right. And if they did that, their communications carrier would follow them along, so that constrained their vision. By having it on their heads and having this the bubble helmet very clear, um, on giving them 180 degrees from side to side to see, they could have the communication steady, and they wouldn't be turning away from their microphone, but they wouldn't be obscuring their vision. So S this is the one that Buzz Aldrin wore. Buzz Aldrin wore this. Yes, in, during the on call, the moon. On the moon. And on the moon to the to the moon and back, and um, for much of the, his time, because that, that was the primary um, means of communications with the ground and with the command module orbiting the moon. And in 1969, this was state-of-the-art communication this technology. This is state-of-the-art communications technology. Interestingly enough, the, the company that made this, the David Clark Company, still makes the communications for, for astronauts. Um, they're very well known for making communications headsets for pilots and, and helicopter pilots. So.